And a very good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. This is the Suarez headquarters and we're coming to you live on four high definition cameras this evening. And oh boy, have we got a lineup for you. Can't wait to get going. But for now, we're going to run the VT. And we're back. Good evening. I hope everybody is well. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, we're starting out in the gallery this evening because I wanted to show you something. So Instagram, I know you're ready. YouTube, I know you're ready. Are you ready for this? This is a complete assault on the senses. So when I turn you around, I hope you're, I hope you're going to appreciate this. Right, let's do Instagram first. I know you could barely feel the tension. I mean, I could barely stand the tension. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's start with that one first. If you're watching on Instagram, you've just got to see this. Let's turn you around. Here we go. Rome cam is good. And here we go, everybody. Right, I'm going to stand over here. Is the uh, is the is the shot okay? Can we see that, buddy? Is that all right? So I need to go to go that way a little bit. Yeah, uh, we can see both. Right, and Instagram, I'll move you guys around so you can see both as well. Uh, actually, let's go out. I've got to go right back here so you can see both of them at the same time. Now, as you can recall, uh, for those of you that watch regularly, these are two paintings that we've done on the live streams. Let me just switch this light off. It might be. There we go. Is that a bit better? So we've successfully stretched up uh, the first of the ink blot paintings, which is this one over here. And we did that, I'm going to say two to three weeks ago, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Remember that when we did a load of copper, black and white, and we got the second canvas and we pushed it on top of the table and then we revealed it to show you what the ink blots looked like. Well, that was the Rorschach test. And boom. That's the very first incarnation come out. We've just stretched it literally in the last hour or so. We wanted to show you before we started painting tonight. I think you'll agree. It looks pretty epic. I'm going to take you for a, a little whistle stop tour of that for 30 seconds because I'm sure you want to see what's going on. It's almost impossible to see the level of detail that's in it as I lift both tripods high into the air, but it is epic. The finish is amazing. The textures are amazing. The effects and the details are literally mind blowing. Let's see if I can just come over here and show you some of this. It's difficult. I'm really trying to sort of hold two cameras at once here. So I hope you're kind of getting the idea as to what's going on. Let's see if we can whiz around here into the light and look at some of these details. It really is quite the most extraordinary thing. Look at that. Right, so um, now we're going to have a look at the multicolored one. I think this is about four weeks ago we did that. Do you remember that on the tilt slide and pan tilt table that also rotates? This is quite a labor of love, this one was. And that is looking absolutely amazing as well. Uh, Aidy's just going to join me just here. There we go. Thank you very much. So for Instagram, I'm just about to show you the uh, the orangey one that we did. Uh, a few people joining us. We'll do some hellos in just a short while. Now, if you're looking over on Instagram at the moment, uh, there we go. In actual fact, let me show you some of the kit that we're using here. So Aidy's holding the roam cam. And that's going to give you, uh, as soon as you're seeing this on Instagram, you can see some of the kit that we're using, and I'm sure then on YouTube, if Aidy looks at me, and this is me holding my, there we go, <laughs> say hello to each other there. That's me holding my tripod as well. So normally I'm holding both of these. So he's coming to give me a hand at the moment, which is fantastic. But there we go. If we just start by, look, this thing is just incredible. And of course, we've got the second one as well. The one that we blotted slightly smaller, just as epic in all its incredible details. Looking fantastic. And then if we come over here, of course, this was the uh, this is the stripey one, I'm looking pretty amazing. Now we've recently stretched that around the frame, popped it on the website with all the amazing photographs. The level of detail and the finish is extraordinary, and we just wanted to show you that because it's always nice to show you the paintings 
when we finish them on the streams just so you can see what the actual finished one looks like and i think you'll agree they look pretty unbelievable um so again that's uh, we've taken that one off <laughs> you can see this on instagram yeah we've uh, we've taken that one off look uh, which is called flame front and uh we've taken it off this wall just so you can see these two in all their glory in fact if we have a little wander over here just before we get started i can show you that that's uh, one of my absolute favorites this one a huge thing when it's on the wall so we've just taken that off temporarily just so we can show you the other two now there we go guys that's the two live stream paintings from two of the more recent ones that we've done of course we will then get the the the, well, the, uh, the smaller black white silver and copper one done for you sorry so we can actually show you that now oh sorry yes this is another one okay so remember last week there we go that was last week's painting and now you can see it and we use the squeegee for the first time so we wanted to show you this now that it's dried there we go just the details on that is just fantastic so we're going to give you a, a proper close-up look as best that we can now you can see the skylights reflecting in it because it's incredibly glossy so let's give you a little shot around here there we go look so just some of the incredible details that we managed to get from last week and of course you can see the lights shine everything shines in it because it's incredibly shiny and there we go so that was last week's squeegee painting i've ordered more squeegees so we are going to be returning back to this at some point and doing more with the technique i just wanted to show you those three artworks from the uh oh he's off where's he going where's he going now my mic might cut out here so i'm going to be quiet for a second Yeah, right, so we're back in the room. Here we are. Look, we're racing back towards the pod so we can get started. It's <laughs> wacky races. There we go. Brilliant. Oh, that's going to disorientate everybody, isn't it? Woo, round and round we go. Brilliant stuff. Thanks, mate. Right, okay, there we go, everybody. So that is the two live stream paintings. Well, three. Plus the one in the back. So that's four brand new artworks we've just shown you. Oh, right. Now it's time for me to get back in the pod. It's never a pretty sight, this. There he is. I got me orders. Look, get back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, folks. Okay, let's plonk the cameras down and let's introduce you to what's going on this evening. The main attraction, the main event. Here we go. Right, Instagram, let's pop you guys down there. Familiar site, here we are in the pod. We'll do some hellos in just a moment. Uh, let's get sealed up. And then we can figure out what's happening. Okay, all looking good. Let's just get ourselves sealed up. Happy days. Right, looking good. Okay, right. Well, let's do a camera check. So I think we've established... And certainly that Rome cam works. So corner cam is working, which is brilliant. Then let's go to PGZ cam. I'll come down here, look, so you can see me. Yeah, all working, fantastic. Assume the position. And we're on overhead, all working. And of course, we do know that Rome cam, which we've just been looking at, was all working perfectly. Fantastic. Okay, right. I'm going on with the gloves and we're going to do some quick hellos. And then I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do this evening, everybody. Right, over on Instagram, and we've got Rochelle, we've already said hello. Art Zeno, and we've got uh, Josu Clotaire, blues player. Artist David Freeman, hello David. Uh, Maleni, oh sorry, Malina's Art. <laughs> uh, Brian McCrusty, Saturinus, Toto, Luke Yama, 2436. Yama, I should say, and Turbo Psychosis, fantastic. This is great, thank you for joining us. And let's have a look over on YouTube. Who have we got? Right, let's go from the top. Who was first in this evening? Let's find out, shall we? 
Let's find out. Uh, so Yona Shearer was first up. Hello, Yona. Great to see you. Uh, Ian Holmes is here in the Rita. And Buddy Fox has also joined us. Uh, Zane. Hi. Good day, Zane. Nice of you to be here. And Ney Horacio. You're a new name. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Jacqueline Walker. Blooming awesome. Fantastic. Hello, Jacqueline. Uh, K9 Hannibal loves the hood. I look like I'm going to Mars. Yes, I, I wish I was, actually. Be nice and warm there. Uh, although I'm not at night, obviously. Uh, so, uh, Ian Holmes, did you manage to get the uh, save the canvas from the old inkbot piece? Well, I think you've just seen that, Ian. The answer is yes. And the Rita, good evening. And Nancy Stone, who else have we got just joined us? I think that's it. Fantastic. All right, let's get some gloves on. And let me tell you what's going to happen this evening. Right, down on the floor, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is a blank canvas as he walks all over it. And this has got a size of 2.1 metres by 150. <laughs> I can't even remember that. Oh, it's been a bit of a rush, this last cover. <laughs> 210 by 150 there we go so it'll have a finished size of 190 by 130 the second piece i'll stay here because otherwise you won't be able to see me which is over there i don't know if we're going to get time to do that tonight but the second piece slightly smaller okay so we'll just have to wait and see if we can uh, if we've got time to do that i'm ready to go pumped up and excited just like my bottle of thinners and uh, let me tell you what we're going to do tonight. Shall I, or are you going to find out? Hmm, let me have a think. Let me get a tin of paint open. Well, the extractor's going on now, so if my voice does suddenly disappear, it will come back imminently, I promise. Oh. Okay, right, we're going to get some blackout to begin with. Right, three, two, one. And the extractor is on. I'm going to keep talking in the hope that you can actually hear what I'm saying. Uh, right, Instagram, let's move you guys around here so you can see what's going on. Uh, Laura, thank you for joining us. Uh, World of Miguel Salva. Hello. Oh, bus, Blues Player says hello. Yes, I'm back on, apparently. Excellent. Five by five. Happy days. Right. We're going to get some blackout to begin with. We're going to get that on the canvas. And we're going to make a start. Okay, so the black's coming out. I'm going to do a multicolored base layer. And then we're going to see exactly what I'm going to do to it, because there are some real fireworks coming this evening, folks. I kid you not. Not actual real fireworks. That would be irresponsible. But there's going to be some crazy things happening tonight. I might, just, I might as well just tell you, because you're probably itching to know. It's going to be a bit of a mess tonight. It's going to be all splashed everywhere. What if I said that? Yeah? That's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to get thinned paint. We're going to be throwing it. We're going to be splashing it. We're going to be creating some amazing shapes. And that is all coming at you live on the four high-definition cameras. I'm so excited. I can barely think exactly what I'm doing. But hey-ho, it's, it's the way we roll. So uh, what do I want? That's what I wanted. This is lovely in the base layers. So uh, over on YouTube now, you're going to hopefully get a close-up of the bench. Hello. This is a rather interesting camera angle so hopefully we've got that in shot oh now then this is what we want so this is going to be my base coat now the hope is everyone that if we have enough time tonight that i can do both canvases and it's going to be a bit of a squeeze but that's the aim is to do both and we're going to oppose the colors oh there you are hello so this is going to be light going on to dark and the hope is we can do dark going on to light on the other one so two two completely opposing paintings all right but with a similar technique so that's the plan we're obviously going to have to wait and see whether that actually works or not and then the last thing i need oh yes that's perfect i'm going to have that drop of red that was sneaking there from the other day and then we're ready to go, folks. We're going to get paint on. We're going to get this moving around. We're not We're not messing around tonight. Oh, no. No, we're getting going. There we go. So in about 10 seconds, I think we're about ready to go. Okay, so let me ask you the question, everybody. Are we ready to get some paint on canvas? Are we ready to get paint onto canvas? I think we are. 
Shall we do it, buddy? Shall we do this? What do you think? Should we do it? <sighs> do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Here we go, two-handed technique. Oh, yes, come on. That's what we've come here for. Nice. Let's get the paint on. Let's get the paint on. Say what? <laughs> okay, awesome. I want to drop a red on here, but I want some red around the edges. Don't need it on around the middle. But definitely around the edges. That's nice. Happy days. Now, I'm going to come up to the corner. Actually, no. I'll tell you what, we'll come to these cameras. If we can go on to Rome cam, buddy, please. Now, I don't know if you can see that. This is going to give you the best idea about what this colour looks like. This is a real unusual colour. And it's a mixture between burgundy maroon, uh, chocolate and red. And it's got slight purple hints to it. Let me show you on Instagram as well. It's a very unusual colour. I hope you're kind of getting that. Um, and this has got some real warmth in it. And it's just amazing. Absolutely love it. What I'm also going to pop into here is a little skadoosh of gold. All right, so I'm just going to pop some of that, and I want to just filter this just in some seams here and there. Because let's let's be honest, we've got to have some gold in it, haven't we? Wouldn't be a Suarez if there wasn't some gold in it. It's the most amazing gold in the history of the universe. So, big question now. Squeegee or roller? Mmm, bet you didn't think I was going to say roller, did you? Right. I think we might mess this up a little bit. Mix it up, rather. Uh, the mess comes for later. Right, let's get a roller out. Yes, I don't know if we've ever used the roller on the live stream. I think we need to go for it. That's the kind of that's the kind of mood I'm in. Let's do this. We're going to give it a little spray with some thinners. Okay, we're 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 almost hands and knees. Are we ready? Here we go. Look, let's move this around. Look, oh, fabulous! I love what rollers can do. Amazing. There we go. Look at that. Big swoops, big movements. Nice. Remember, this is just our background layer, but of course, I want it to be rich and velvety smooth and full of movement and textures. And onto this, we're going to do something wild and crazy, and we're going to get oranges out and all kinds of things. All right, so let's get this on. Okay, so. <laughs> So we're moving on the uh, on the PTZ camera at the moment, which is great. So we're just going to get this moved around a little bit. It'll just help me get a feel for the paint. Let's get into that gorgeous, rich red. There we are. Look, nice. So we'll get that down there. Very, very rarely use a roller. We don't have to be in the mood for it. But you know what? I just thought, oh, you, you know, we haven't used that yet. Let's get in with the roller. Happy days. Oh, there's my pen lid. I was looking for that earlier. <laughs> Right, I've got my pen lid. Happy days. Right, so as you can see, we're moving pretty quickly. I need to move some of this paint out to the edges. Because the majority of all the effects are going to happen sort of not in the middle. The middle is going to be so full of amazing paint effects. But actually, where it sort of radiates out to the edges, I really wanted to start mixing with some of these incredible tones. Okay, so I'm going to be fairly liberal with my application now. And no, you can't hire me to come and do the inside of your house for you. <laughs> I'm got, I'd love to, but I haven't got time. Would you want your walls to look like this? No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I still do, do my, all my interior decorating, but it doesn't look like this. Um, right, okay. <laughs> it's funny that when, um, you know, when I've, I've, I've been in those situations in the past and people say to me, oh, you must love doing your own decorating. No, I don't. I, I can't stand it. <laughs> it's tedious. I'd much rather be doing this. Anyway, right, let's review where we're at. So, um, we've got our proprietary coat moving around i'm just trying to get the the bulk of the paint moving towards the outside i don't want to overwork it too much and i certainly don't want it to dry this is looking really nice it's powerful it's 
tea, but it's chocolatey, velvety, lovely. Let's just make sure I've got everything moved to where I need it to be, especially around the edges where it's going to stretch around the frame. These lovely seams of gold. I'm happy for those to be just around the outside. Remember, that's where I put them. Didn't put them on the inside because they're going to get covered up. So we get to enjoy all this gold lusciousness uh, towards the outside. Look at some big swoops and sweeps in there. Look. Oh, nice. Happy days. Now, I'm just using on our Instagram just this sort of tip of the roller. That one there. Let me uh, come up and show you. So where I've done the bulk of the paint with the flatness of the roller, now I'm just going to move the roller to the edge. And I'm kind of putting a little bit of pressure on just to dig in and move the paint, take the layer from underneath, push it out over the top. It's very subtle, it's very quick because I've done it a thousand times. Um, but that's the principle as to what's going on here. Okay, right, so the roller's pretty much had it now because it's got a chocolatey brown. But actually what I have got, and I hope you can start to see that, is some real movement and texture coming in. Yeah, it's really nice that, I like that. Right, okay, so let's get rid of the foam roller. I need to change gloves. I've already got paint on my hands. So, Nancy, did you, when you're saying, AD, can you send that audio file to me? Did you mean the just do it file? Uh, please do let us know. If so, uh, so, so just send me an email uh, to info at and uh, we'll get that organized for you. Okay, thank you for that. Oh, Kelly Kara Shock has just joined us. You forgot it was Wednesday, how very day. Uh, okay, fantastic. Okay, brilliant. Right, okay, let's get some more gloves on. Instagram, I'm gonna move you guys over here. Hopefully you're starting to see some of these textures starting to come out now. I know the lights are very shiny in it. Uh, who have we got? Moonar underscore eight. Uh, Anna Jones Studio, Christian Bohr. I'm uh, is that, uh, Amira Campbell, uh, art photography. Uh, did I say hello to Laura? And yes, I think I did. Okay, right. Apologies if I haven't. Actually, let's move you guys over there. Happy days. Right, let's get the next set of gloves on. And now I'm going to mix what's going over the top. Over the top. Oh, yeah. Right, so we've got a fresh set of gloves on. Nice. Let's see what we've got from Rome Cam. Actually, I've probably... Yeah, there we go, mate. How's that? Let's have a look at this corner here. Yeah, where the uh, the red and the gold is really starting to develop. That's beautiful, that is. And then around here, we've got all that chocolatey sort of, I don't know, autumn-y kind of, you know, burning logs goodness together with the lick of gold that's just running through it and that warm seam coming through. So lots of this is all about warmth. I'm loving that. Let's pop you guys down here. Uh, is that an okay shot there, buddy? In fact, let's put it to there, actually, because I'm going to start splashing next, mate. So maybe corner to corner. Can you? Is that okay from there? Okay, right. Are we up for a bit of fun now, folks? This is what you've tuned in for. Well, you haven't you've tuned in because we are awesome. But here we go. Right. First colour we are going to get on is... Dun, dun, dun. This beautiful orange. How gorgeous. You could just literally serve that up on a plate and eat it as it is. That's going on first, okay? So this is warmth. This is texture. This is heat. This is autumn on its way. Are we officially the first day of autumn? There's a thought, isn't it? Are we in autumn now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure last day of summer's gone, isn't it? Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, fabulous. So, uh, we're going in with the orange. Uh, I know you can't just see this at the second moment, Instagram. I'm going to just bear with me because I need to water this down. I say water it, thin it down. Okay, and we're going to get this on in just a moment. I'm just going to start moving it around, mixing it in. Let's, let's come around here. There you go. Look how delicious is that. Mmm, nice. Very nice. I'll have me some of that. So this has to be really quite uh, thin in its consistency. Uh, which camera did you say we're on, mate? Okay. Uh, PC said, please. Now look, that's literally like water. So we need this thinned down quite a bit because it's got to reach from one side to the other. I've got to half this because I don't want all this paint to go on at once. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. There's a reason why it's going to go into two. So we'll get ourselves another cup, another container. 
Um, we'll just ha even it out roughly about half and half. Right now I'll tip some back. <laughs> okay, so that's about half and half. Right. Here we go. I'll tell you what's going to happen now. Well, who knows what's going to happen now? That's, that's the beauty of being here, isn't it? So, we are going to go, folks. We are going to go. We're going to do this. We're going to do a sweep from the middle. And what I want to do is try and get it to go that way. So we're going to spread paint out that direction. And then we're going to do the same over here. Sorry, my apologies. I'll say that again. Same principle. We're going to do it over there and over this side. So I'm going to do one splash that's going to go skyward over there. And then I'll turn around and we'll do one splash that's going to go skadoosh all the way over there. And for that, I am definitely going to move Roman Cam. Uh, otherwise, that's going to get absolutely covered. So, buddy, can we kind of see see most of sort of from the corners to get down a bit? We'll just get this camera angle right. Yeah. So if I was to throw from there and go outwards, you can see that. OK, yeah. Right, folks. OK, are we ready then? Whew. OK, no pressure then. <laughs> right, OK, so let me just practice this in my head for a, for a second. So I need to figure out where I'm going. So this one's got to be this is this is the one. Uh, there's literally one chance at this. I don't I don't I don't get a second chance. Right. OK, let's have a go. Ready? Three. Now, I'm not going to count it. I'm just going to do it. So you have to keep your eyes on the screen. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, yes. You want some orange, sir? Now, interestingly, I'm not going to put any more orange on. That's quite a bit. I am going to put some other colours on, though. Right. <laughs> I love it. We've got to have cream in here somewhere to lighten it all up. Of course we have. So that's probably what I'm going to head for next. We're not going to keep it white because we want to keep in with the the feeling of warmth and being sat by an open fire. Probably going to get a little dash of red on in there as well. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to thin down this little drop of red I've got and we're going to have a little play with that. But that's nice. That's nice. I think this is shaping up to be rather, rather special. You know, we were chatting earlier on and we haven't done anything sort of really sort of throwy, splashy for a little while. So it felt like a good time to do it. OK, so I'm going to come around the other side now. And I'm going to tone down the red just a little. It's the red, the orange just a little bit. How is that red? No, that's red. That's orange. Uh -huh. um, so I'm going to go back over this in a little arc and I'm going to try and force it out to the corner. All right. So that's the rough principle. There's not a lot in here, which is fine. Uh, that red's looking gorgeous. So sorry. <laughs> Why do I keep calling orange red? I need to have a word with myself. <sighs> okay. Right. I'll carry on, shall I? <laughs> right. Here we go. I'll be ready. Three, two, one. Yes. Nice. That's good. So what we've got there. We've, got to, we've just covered up some of the anger, in, not the anger, but the density of the orange there. That's great. Oh, this is really good. Now, you see, see what's happening already. Oh, I love this. This is fantastic. This is really starting to kind of cool and go into almost like cells in this corner because I've thinned it much more than the other one. And of course, with what it's going on to, it's having a reaction. Happy days. Loving that all day long. Nice. Now then. Um, I'm going to pop roam cam. Now I've done the splashes. Let's pop roam cam. Look, yes, look at that. I'll give you a proper look in a second, Instagram. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Nice. So I'm going to pop you guys over here. Uh, is that angle still okay? Nice. Okay, Insta, look at this. Look at this. Our Eam photo has joined in. Jesse and Rahul, thank you guys for joining us. Yeah, we're just in the stage of uh, getting the two main splashes on which is pretty exciting. Actually, now, as a, as a portrait, that is just like, poof, magnificent. Okay, good, good, good. So, next thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to get some, some white on, and I'm tempted now. Yes, 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 it's all coming to me now. My, sorry, why white? My cream. And we're going to drop some random cream splashes on and get that sort of working its way in. And then we're going to get some gold on. Do I hear a whoop? 
with some gold. Of course, because we love gold. Gold is awesome. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Let's get some... Let's get A lot of this white's going to disappear, but I want to get some moving through it. So, so here we go. Nice. And we'll get another one of those through there. That's gorgeous. Very nice. That'll do. And I think I'll just have one there. And I might just come for a few skadooshes down there. Nice. Okay. Next up is the gold. That's all I want to put on for now. And remember, a lot of this is going to sort of disappear. You're not going to see it in 10 minutes time. It's incredible what happens to these paints. And just when you think, oh, no, he's put too much on. Oh, no, 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 no. You wait and see what happens. OK, happy days. Two more things I want to do before, I've got to say, we might be on the verge of having it done and finished. Can you believe that? I'm going to get... Oh, Nelson's just turned up. Hello, Nelson. Thank you for joining us. And Cameron, well done, guys. Lovely to see you here. Okay, let's going to go in now with the gold. Gold, gold, gold. Ah. Oh, and Dwayne Baker. Hello, Dwayne. Good evening. Very nice to see you here. Right, so I'm going to come, I think, around the middle here and let's get some on. Yeah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Just that little sort of branch out at the end. It's just going to have that little, little sort of depth of warmth in here. Okay, this is good. So couple of other things I want to do. Now, next up, providing I can find it, is just a little dash of the copper. That's what I want. That's what I want, guys, is the copper. What colour is that? I think so. So, hopefully, Aidy is going to give you a really good look at how that gold is spider webbing itself right now. And it does have amazing properties. It really does, especially when you start messing with the ratios of the other paints. Right, so I'm just going to have a few dribbles of the copper. Nothing too major. And then I want to do a, little, a few drizzles of black over the top as well. And I'm just really just want to pull in some of the accents from the base coat and pop them in over the top. All right, well, it just helps give a little dimension, a little kind of depth to things. But I just want to run some of this copper through the center just in these little drizzles. Beautiful, beautiful. Love that all day long. Oh, fantastic home. And Albert Tatlock has joined us. Hello, Albert Tatlock. How are you doing? Um, thank you for your comments on YouTube this week. Much appreciated on some of our other videos. Uh, right, we'll get to look at some of your comments in just a second. It's just that I'm right in that ooh phase now. So I've just got to be careful. Just got to be careful on what I'm doing next. I'm going to drop a few little soups onto black just through through our, there we go, our early applications. Just through here, look, just to pepper it down a little bit. Just to give it that little element. Just to remind us that we come from darkness into the light. There we go. That's beautiful. Just using the last remnants that were inside the cup. Fabulous. Like a real interstellar explosion, that. <laughs> right, Instagram, let's pop you guys over here so you can see what's going on. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is drop you down a leg or two. Excuse me, it's going to get a bit wobbly for a second. Let's just pop you down so you can get a little bit closer to what's going on. Because obviously, if we do the other one, which I think we should have time for, I want you to have a proper look at that. Okay, so really nice, really spectacular so far. Let's have a look at some of your comments. Uh, oh, thank you, Nelson. That's very kind, saying we're the best. <laughs> uh, Andreas Stilianu, hello. Welcome. Nice to see you today. Uh, what have we got? Uh, we've got Zane, special sauce today. We'd have to wait and see, Zane, possibly. We'll have to wait and see for the second one. Uh, so, uh, yes, Andreas, uh, it is... Uh, uh, it's enamel paint. Sorry, I completely forgot then. I was just reading another question. Uh, yeah, so it's enamel paint and um, it's very toxic, hence why I wear a mask. And uh, oh, oh uh, Funny Fox is off. No problem. Thank you for joining us, Funny Fox. Uh, and can't see it as well now, says Nancy. Autumnal oh, Hunt. Oh, that's very good. Oh, Andy Hill was here but retracted his message. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so um, okay, just having a look back through some of your comments. Thank you very much. Pumpkin orange, yeah, very good. Please don't eat the paints. No, I won't. <laughs> okay, good question from the reader. Do the air bubbles settle out? Um, yeah, they, they they do pretty much. Yeah, they tend to pop. Uh, for the ones that don't, it gives a very nice sort of cratery effect. But yeah, most of those will actually go. Uh, so, Zane, to answer your question about the special sauce, well, possibly, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Now, the interesting thing everybody knows is I've got to try and manoeuvre these around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this away and I'm going to let it develop and see where we're at. I may very well add something to it, a few loops and swoops as we go along, but I'm going to keep that as it is just for now. So this is the fun bit now. This is the fun bit. So th here we go. Let's see if I can manoeuvre all this around. <laughs> Right, let's get this up here to start with, because obviously we want to get this into the position where you can see all the really good shots. So I'll just pop that there for a moment. Let's see if I can just drag this backwards, which I should be able to. And Adrian's just going to reset my mic for me. And we're back on. Fantastic. Right, OK, so we've got this move to the back. Ooh, now I can have a proper look at that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Tabasco hot. Yes, I could call it hot sauce, couldn't I? What a great name. Who said that? Oh, Jackie Bouvet. Yes. Yeah, great. Uh, Albert wants it spritzing. Zane says autumnal splash. Oh, isn't this nice? You're getting in the mood with this. This is great. We're getting behind it. Fantastic. I love those as a series of colours. And when you've got the metallics in, like the copper and uh, the gold as you start to move around the painting it then just gives you a completely different perspective you know when all the other things diminish in their luminosity suddenly boom you get these two amazing uh, gold and copper metallics just shout at you it's a fantastic experience it really is okay let's just get that last drop of that really unusual burgundy just splashed in there fantastic whoa I think we're doing pretty good here. Right. Okay. Insta, I'm going to move you guys around there. And we're ready, I hope, for number two. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, what have we got at the moment? 29 of you watching and only 15 thumbs up. If you're enjoying what we're doing here, then please do give us a thumbs up. Uh, it just is a, it's a little signal to the algorithms that says that you're enjoying what we're doing here. So, please, if you're not already, make sure you hit that thumbs up icon. If you're watching on a giant screen TV, lucky you, okay, you can navigate with your remote down to the uh, thumbs up and press it for us. And if you're on any mobile device, a quick scroll up and down the screen, you'll see the thumbs up just underneath where the play icon and the play bar is. Thank you very much. Now, we've got a few new faces here this evening. So number one, of course, thank you so much for joining us. If you are new here, then don't forget to give us a subscribe because that means, guess what? You never miss a thing. And because we like to do pop-up live streams, literally without a moment's notice, that's the way you get notified. It means you never miss a thing. You can get all this coming straight to you on whatever device you want to look at it on without having to worry about it. Make sure you tick the bell icon and you'll never miss a thing. The other thing, of course it is, is our Patreon side of, the, uh, of what we do here at Suarez. We've got some amazing exclusive things for our patrons, including the first look at new paintings, exclusives on the day after live stream, plus lots of other uh, brilliant things. So please do go have a look at that. If you're looking on YouTube, you can go check that out in the description below. Go have a look and see what you can get. And uh, yes, what are we up to? 17 on the thumbs up now. Don't forget, guys, give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Shall we start on the second canvas? I think so. I think so. Uh, convocation as a potential title. Oh, this is good. We must we must write these down, buddy. We must write these down. Thank you for your, your suggestions, everybody. They're fantastic. Right, so, can you remember what we said at the start? We were going to go darkness into light. Now we're going to do the opposite way around. We're going to go light cover on the base. Boom, we're going to go completely nuts. All right, so we're going to do two different kinds of splashes. So I am going to go in to begin with. With a very light and carefree and happy cream white and gold mixture. This is going to look amazing. 
going to be like drinking a glass of champagne, this is, with your eyes. Is that a thing? I don't know if it is a thing. It is. It's a thing now. I've just decided it's a thing. <laughs> We're going to thin that down just a little bit. Okay, got a few chemicals to put in. Let's get that mixed around. So the white's going to go on first. There we go. So there's the white. It'll only take a second just to mix. Instagram, I'll be back around on your side in just a second. Stay where you are. Okay, so Jacqueline, uh, the thumbs up on the mobile. Uh, hopefully, if you're in portrait mode, you should just be able to uh, scroll with your with a finger, uh, swiping up, and then just underneath where you're viewing this, uh, there should be a number of icons where it says share, embed, that kind of thing, and hopefully you should be able to find a thumbs up. That's the hope, anyway. But, uh, thank you for uh, for raising that. Right, let's get the white out next. Okay. Give these giant five litre cans of beavers. Shake up. All right, so the cream is ready. The white is ready. It's going to be quite difficult to see a white canvas with white and cream paint on it. But we've got the gold on, so that's fine. I'm tempted to put a drop of yellow in the background as well. Almost a little bit buttermilky. Hmm, we could do that, couldn't we? That would be nice. Just add a little drop of warmth in it. In fact, do you know what? I am going to drop that into the white. Yes, because I've just seen the most beautiful sunset yellow. So as we're keeping with our, what is rapidly developing as a hot and autumnal theme, then watch what happens now. I'm going to, I'm going to plonk some of this in. Oh, this is going to be nice. Yeah. I'm going to get some yellow in. Oh, that's beautiful, that. There we go. We don't need a lot. In my world, that's just a drop. <laughs> so, Andreas, uh, yes, it's canvas. Uh, this canvas is specially made for us here. And it's approximately 420 GSM, which I think is 16 ounce in old money. And we have it with a special gesso primer put on it, just so that the paints don't get eaten by it because the paints are very very volatile there you go instagram how's that oh just buttermilk and we're gonna put the cream in so i think uh are we ready buddy should we should we give it a go right here we go okay there we are nice let's get those two skadooshed all over the place very nice and we're going to get ourselves a little drop of gold sort of weaved into that so i need to get back on with the spoon and then we're going to kind of weave some dots and bits and pieces into that as we go along. Now, uh, I would imagine that is quite whited out on the overhead. Oh, oh, I nearly slipped. All right, hopefully the remote cam will give you a slightly better view. And uh, I'm just going to offer a drop of white down the edges. Okay. So again, this is going from... Uh, from light to dark, in the setting of the sun, etc., etc. Got to make sure I don't trip over on that. Right, so we're going to go in with the squeegee. There's the scraper, or squeegee? No, it is the squeegee, the window squeegee this time. So we used on the background for that one. We used the. Come on, come on, get on there. Uh, what do we use? Uh, oh, the roller. Yeah. So now let's give this a squeegee. There we go. Look, beautiful. Round and round she goes. There it stops. Nobody knows. So we're just going to have a quick base layer on this. Now I'm trying to formulate in my head exactly where I go with the colours that are going over the top. So I, I, of course with everything you have to have a plan. So I have it in my head, roughly speaking, where we're going to go with it. So we'll just get the edges dealt with. And then we'll start to get the paint into the centre. And Abdo Asafane has joined. Hello, Abdo. Very nice to see you. Uh, who wishes us good luck? Well, we wish you good luck, mister, as well. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. Uh, Robert Mungin. Hello, Robert. Has also joined us. So your school is back next week, is it, Robert? Well, I hope to see you whenever you can pop in. Remember, if you want to catch the replays, 
there are around about 85 of these now currently on uh, on the archives on the channel so you can revert back to these at any point in time and if you're watching on instagram and want to get the whole four camera high definition experience then if you go to the link in my bio and click the very top link then you'll be able to play what's going on right now right now without even leaving the comfort of your mobile screen or instagram how cool is that and andrea says he thinks <laughs> Floor is the best painting. I got to agree with you. I think it is. But you know what? It's taken ages to paint. <laughs> Literally taken forever. Weeks and weeks to paint. Okay, right. So here we go. Anybody want a fried egg? It's um. Oh, I can't get the. No, there we go. Right. So we're going to go on with the first colours, everybody. I think. Personally, <laughs> it's a bit controversial. This. It's got to be, I think we've got to go on with the black. I think we've got to go on with black first off. We need something to see on the cameras because it's very difficult for Aiden to get a proper shot of this because everything, everything is, uh, is so white. So let's get the black on, shall we? Now we've got to thin this down again. Okay, so now who was it who mentioned special sauce? I'm very, very tempted to go in with the special sauce. What do we think, buddy? Did Zane mention it? Okay, we're on PTZ, are we, buddy? Remote. Right, I'll put the remote up. Here we go, then, Zane, just for you. There we go. Special sauce is going in just into the black. You must remember that. Sauce is just in the black. Okay, Instagram. I'll be back around in just a second because we want to show you what's going on with the splash. So we've got to give you a safe viewing distance because this is going to go everywhere. <laughs> oh, fun. What fun. Right, let's get that halved out. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop it in that one. Right, okay, folks. Let's move you guys around. There we go. Let's bring you here. Uh, thank you if you've just joined us on Instagram. We're going to try and give us a bit of a splash now. This, this, this could go one of two ways. Uh, right, okay. I think actually I want slightly less than that. Right, buddy, we're going to try this again. Right. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to start this way and go sort of off towards that way. So, are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. Three, two, what? No. Yes, no. I'll be there in a second. Right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, nice. Yeah, I'll take that. Now, I've cut down the amount of paint that I've used. There's a lot of paint over there, which, of course, is one style of doing things. So now we've gone for slightly less here. Oh, now, of course, we've got the special source, source starting to develop. This is going to get interesting. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. This is going to be fun. Right. Okay. Black is done. Let's get that out of the way. Let's get the lid on. Next up, we want to return back to our good friend, the orange. Now, I don't want a lot. I don't want a lot. I've got to be so careful. So I think what we're going to do, everybody, is we're going to try a reverse splash of orange, and we're going to go that way. But I don't quite know how I'm going to do this. Oh, the perils. Right. Um, this is looking at... Oh, no, there we go. No, no, no. That's not going to work. Right, I have to try it from over here, then. And I... I can't do it left-handed, mate. I'll literally... You can, but I just can't. That would be hysterical. I try that left-handed. I'll turn it round. Yeah, I've just I've just come into my head. Yeah, just turn the camera. Around. Everyone's shouting at me. Just turn it round, you crazy fool. Right. Okay. Here we go then. Uh, actually, I can just do it there, can't I? Can we all still see that? Okay. Right. Yeah. That that's fine because I can just go woof. Not woof because that's a dog's noise, isn't it? Right. I can. I mean, I can apply it. Right, here we go, here we go. Three, two, one. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Me likey like. Right, let's move that back. Oh, yes, this is going very well. Right, let's move that back over there. Oh, where else can you get this on a Wednesday evening? Well, let's face it, any other evening of the week. You can't. 
This is the only place on the planet you'll see this being done. I guarantee you of that. Excellent. Right, let's move Rome cam around. Some of those effects are really starting to come out now. Oh, hey, look at that. Beautiful. So, let's... Uh, that's us done with the orange, folks. I'm not touching that. That's nice. Uh, so, orange done. Let's get that back on the shelf out of harm's way. Okay, fabulous. Right, glove change. I've got to, I've got to scratch myself as well. Uh, okay, hang on a second. Right, uh, can you still hear me, mate? Cool. Okay, uh, yes, Albert Tatlock said special sauce. We've now got a special sauce, <laughs> which is great. Uh, okay, Red, fantastic, good. Finally managed to out creative himself. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that, Ian, but uh, thank you anyway. But this is looking really nice. So I really don't want to mess with this too much, but there's a couple of things that I want to pop into here now. So we are definitely are going to have some gold. I'm going to pop a little drop of red in, not too much, uh, some gold. And I am going to pop some of that amazing melon yellow that formed the part of the background. But actually, what that's going to do is help us to bring foreground and background colours together, which, of course, would be really nice. And it'll also form part of the, the, the detailing as it starts to dry and to cure. So with one eye on that, that's what we're going to kind of crack on with next. Now, the red, I'm going to make a slightly different red here. I'm going to go with a raspberry. Uh, as opposed to a really strong red. What I don't want it to do is to mess with the colours that we've already got. So I'm, I'm now going to... I know this sounds crazy. It, me talking about being a bit more subtle. What? That's not subtle, Ed? Uh, no, it isn't. But there are some subtle points I want to put in here. Uh, now, this is where it's developing as it kind of goes along. And that this is... You know, you can get a basic idea about where you want to go with something. But, you know, part of the skill of doing this with, with a paint and a material like this is that you have to react to what's going on in front of you. And of course, if, if you don't, things can go very wrong very quickly. Okay, right, let's just hang that back up. Let's have a quick look at your comments. Uh, Ed is very uh, beautiful. Oh, is that the end? Nelson, you reckon that's the end? I should just stop. Um, Jackie Walker, your source works in a similar way to silicon in acrylic. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, in some respects, Jackie, yes, it does. Um, but in other respects, it's a lot more uh, involved. Yeah, Aidy's going to take that one. Yeah, while well, I change gloves. Hi, Jackie. Yes, you're right. It works in a similar way. The difficulty with these paints is that they will eat everything. And I mean everything. They eat Ed's gloves every two, three minutes or so. Um, everything about these paints is very, very difficult. And we've spent months and months and months trying to find something that will make it actually do something it's very easy with acrylic i could find 50 60 70 different chemicals that i can make acrylic change with this so far after six months of work maybe two it's um it's very bizarre it you, you can pour things into there disappears nothing happens it's the oddest thing we have to get very extreme with it so when we're looking for chemicals we have to look for the absolute extreme that we can to make it do something Thanks, mate. Yeah, so I hope that answers your question, uh, Jackie. Yeah, uh, it would be very easy, wouldn't it? And we've we've had this conversation before about should we, you know, change up what we've got and what we've developed into acrylic. But there is such a joy which you can actually see this, and it is a joy. You know, our our, our lives aren't easy by any means, and doing this is not easy. I don't just mean a live stream, but running a, a business as a professional artist for two of us. You know, to to keep roofs over our, our heads doing it and all the pressures that that entertains. So it is incredibly difficult. And we're doing this with a medium that really shouldn't be used for this. It's not designed to do anything like this. And yet here we are breaking those boundaries and using a medium that rewards you. When it goes right, it rewards you like no other paint I've ever used. So all the hassle, all the stress, as AD says, years and years of development. And it is, we are 11 years in development with this now are worth it because you get to do this with it and it's great being different and i love it and i don't ever want to be like anybody else and we had a lovely comment uh and i can't remember where it was from forgive me if you're watching and somebody said i think it was i mean oh, 
no I, I can't i can't remember i think it's a new someone who found us on twitter and um they said you've got a unique position in the art world and i thought that was lovely i know everything is unique but to say our position was a unique position i thought was wonderful and that kind of sums sums everything up really well for us it is a unique thing we don't do it the easy way we do it the hard way but the reward the satisfaction that comes from that really is it's beyond any financial gain uh AD knows exactly what i mean when you get it right and we were with a client yesterday and um in a very uh, particular personal situation in what she'd experienced in her life and the painting that she'd chosen the painting we took to her literally changed her life so you also get to do something very profound with your creativity and that is change a person's life and when you can reach somebody on that level i think it is one of the most extraordinary things you can achieve and you know short of donating a kidney <laughs> It was just an extraordinary day and a very emotional, very moving day. And that's the kind of power that, that you can wield with this kind of thing. I think it's extraordinary. And at the root of that, Jackie, is the material. You know, we get to do these amazing things with these ridiculous paints that shouldn't be anywhere near this kind of creativity. And yet, we do. And this is what you get out of it. Okay, so let's just have a recap. What have I done? Since we did the two splashes, don't worry, Nelson, I'm not going to go crazy. Uh, I've added in a very few subtle uh, yellowy hints. This is just to bring the background forward. And I've added a few sea, very, very delicate seams of gold in there as well. And there you go. Look, that's just what I've added so far. Let's give you a look on remote cam. Uh, Insta, I'll give you a proper look in uh, just a while. Okay, but let's have a look down there. Now you can see how everything's reacting to the base coat. And look at those incredible striations and patinations coming through. Remember, all we did was put special sauce in with the black, but look how it's all just finding its own level and moving in its own direction. There's some amazing organic tones and features coming out in this extraordinary and a real unusual combination of colours that I don't recollect having ever used before. So we are really breaking some new ground here this evening, folks. You know. We love to have a laugh and a joke and a bit of entertainment, but actually there's a serious side to this. Let's not forget, there is a serious side to this. Uh, you know, we are in business, but we're in, we're, we're in the business of, uh, of selling emotions. That, that's what this is. Think about what art does for you and what it says to you. That's exactly what we're doing. Uh, Guri this, Carlos Arts, Arts by Jomara, Virtuosity Arts by Lily. Thank you guys for joining us and everybody else who's currently online really appreciate you being here with us on instagram this evening right i think we're doing pretty well let's just do a quick recap where are we at with this everybody what do we think are we done i'm, I'm i think i'm almost done uh jackie loves the veins thank you juan gomez famous art show i love the effect you're achieving looking intense and amazing thank you juan otherworldly painting is great to experience satisfy your customers needs absolutely reef gaming haven't heard from you for a while Great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. It's lovely. Lovely to see you here. Kelly Karashaka, Lava Burst. What a good name. You guys are coming up with some amazing names this evening. Uh, did we have Rainbow Wizard on here? Have I, have I missed it? Big Rainbow Wizard. Better late than never. Get to the back of the room. Go on. Do the wash it up. Um, Dwayne Baker. It's an extender for acrylic paints. Uh, oh, I see you on about Flow Troll yeah that's cool thank you for explaining that yeah that's very good of you thanks uh Dwayne. yeah uh, that's cool and gold please lovely yeah okay there are some lovely lovely comments coming through mount vesuvius <laughs> i love it yes albert color is life it is oh this is good yeah do you know what i i gotta be honest i call that one done as well i don't think i need to, to do anything other than that you know that's a fantastic sequence just down here where the orange such as the black, really nice. It's quite quite sort of dramatic, isn't it? Where these just about touch each other. And then look, look, we've just got that one rogue orange spot. Well, actually, we've got two of them just sort of seeping out. Oh, what might have been, eh? They've just gone for it and escaped all by themselves. I love it. Yeah, guys, I've got to be honest. I think that's done. I don't think it needs anything else. I don't want to mess with the black. It's a beautiful, highly unusual, but to me quite a deeply emotive piece because of what we were talking about while it was being created so let's give you a little look at what we did early doors if you've only just joined us of course you want to see what else went on 
we did light into dark and we did dark into light and this is the one whoa ed you can't be serious you bet you i am developing beautifully we've got all those lovely gold tones catching the light around the edges that intense point of darkness with all the red flames licking over in the corner then we've got the gigantic explosion of orange just disappearing off the canvas this is all bounded by this incredible light reflective metallic gold looking sensational just a hint of white sneaking out underneath like a, a giant loop of magma or lightning just piercing through the darkness and then we've got all the warmth around the edges with that beautiful maroony chocolatey rich velvety texture what a sensation and then of course you've just seen me create the lightness the opposite effect oh I and mean, we've just got a few simple colors all just gently interacting with themselves in the most insane and crazy and beautiful explosion of color how incredible is that well i think i have to be honest and say that's probably us uh kind of done i think yeah i'm loving that instagram make sure you stay where you are because we're going to go for a, a really up close and personal walk around there uh, in just a few moments but guys i think you'll appreciate that that is that's awesome isn't it yeah i just, just think it's fantastic yeah ian holmes yeah about the white what did i say about the white don't worry if you think there's too much on it because most of that will get eaten up and sure enough there it is it's all been eaten up yeah absolutely love it i think they've both got such personalities and yet both incredibly different yet using the same kind of style fantastic um Kelly Carris shocker that is a diptych <laughs> one is Mount Vesuvius and one is Pompeii you're on fire have you had your dinner yet this is brilliant I know lol on fire <laughs> uh otherworldly painting says beautiful thank you so much I've only through my mask it's covered in paint um yeah medi meditation inner awareness of natural elements is what comes to mind fantastic oh Shaz your production quality is great you have dialed it in a lot since last year nice work all the switching good sound no crackle great light i hit the like button 37 viewers 22 likes so it's 23 now yes thank you so much and that is you know so much of that is down to, to aid we work together on trying to make this a better broadcast for you but uh, he has to take you know the credit because he works tirelessly to try and keep bringing you the best that we can do and then when it's the best we can do we try and make it better and then we'll build on that and build on that and we will keep going with this until we, we literally just run out of ideas and i don't think that's going to happen anytime soon so shaz thank you very much i know he's going to be very happy to hear that um uh fabulous enjoying a glass of whiskey watching art says albert tatlock okay no worries thank you for that uh jackie walker super show thank you uh, zane loves the second one excellent nance is loving it as well yeah, remember, guys, if there's uh, 34 of you watching now, remember to hit that thumbs up button. We really, really do appreciate it. And that is a Suarez live stream. If this is the first one you've ever seen, do let us know in the comments what you think. You can post a comment after the video has been posted. But thank you so much for watching. We really hope you've enjoyed it. Guess what? We're doing the same again next week. Who knows what's going to happen? We do, but that's a surprise for you guys. So you'll have to tune in on the night and find out what's going on. We're live next Wednesday. I think it's the 7th of September at half past seven. Uh, if that's going to be GMT now, is it? No, British summer, still British summer time. Uh, but we'll put the posts out with the links on social media. Please do give us a follow. You can see where we are on the back. That's all the social networks. We're even on TikTok. So please do give us a follow. We'd love to see you there as well. Come and have a conversation. But for now, that's it on YouTube. Remember, you can follow us on instagram which is suarez art and you can go and see the up close personal tour because we're going to do that for five or six minutes after this broadcast ends all only leaves us to say thank you so much for watching on behalf of adrian and myself uh, we hope you have a very good week and wherever you are whatever you're doing whoever you're with please stay safe we look forward to seeing you again same time again next week and that's officially us from out of here a very good evening to you all